I'm not even going to open this after you sent me. I'm going to record a video. Probably take me 30 to 45 minutes, most likely. And I'll check back in with you after. Welcome, Joyzer. In today's video, we'll be doing a degen video. I know. It's been a long time coming. I don't do much degen shit on here, but I feel for you guys. We've been doing a lot of safe, practical, educational, helpful content. It's time we do some degen bullshit. So in today's video, we're going to cover a lot of new projects, a couple degen things, a couple potential gems, and I hope you guys are excited for this video. And if you are in my Discord or the Ugaverse Discord, where I'm the lead market analyst, you would have gotten a hand in this video because I asked you guys what kind of calls, what kind of projects you guys want to see in this video. And if you're following me on Twitter, I also let you guys choose what kind of videos I do every now and then as well. So if you're excited to get your fix of degen bullshit, smash like in this video so I know. It only takes one second. All this content type of this for free we're doing daily uploads pretty much and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already bell notification on and let's get into it so here's some of the projects we're going to cover in today's video we've got polygoons we've got dapper dinos We've got Psychedelics Anonymous, World Wide Web. We've got Nanopass. Those are some of the more legit projects. And then we have a few DJ ones we'll get to the end of this video. So this is gonna be a lot different than all my other videos pretty much. So please don't look at this video and think this is what this channel is. I don't do these kind of videos very often. I typically do one to three hours of research per in-depth review video. For this one, I did absolutely no research. I literally asked you guys and said, this is DJ hour, this is new projects hour, this is speculation hour. I'm gonna do the research on the fly with you guys. So first of all, we got Polygoons. This project is on the Jupiter Group NFT platform, like Launchpad thing. Um, and the only reason I know that is because I interviewed the CEO of Boonji Project, Greg Norman, a couple weeks ago. And that's just like the facts, that's, that's what's happening. So I was able to speak to Greg and figure out who he was as a business person, and I do trust him. And so if he's gonna take Polygoons, and he's only accepted one other project, and that was Boonji Project, um, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's probably something he's vetted pretty hard. Polygoons by Mireg FX. Let's check him out. It looks like he is the creator of Polygoons, the artist designer. He's got an Adams bomb as his cover photo. So that's interesting. I don't know if that means he's affiliated with them or if he's helped with their art, but that's cool. I like that he's active on Twitter. He's resharing things. He's talking to the community. Big fan of that. Let's check him on Instagram, see if he's got the same kind of presence that Brandon Murphy has for Boonji Project. I feel like I'm not going to be able to help but kind of compare them and Boonji because they're the only two projects on Jupiter Group's launchpad thing and they're both art projects so on instagram holy shit 433,000 followers it looks like he is probably of the same caliber as brendan murphy he does similar kind of art guys this is cool stuff i'm a big fan of this stuff this looks pretty fucking awesome actually purely from a subjective art standpoint he's getting a shit ton of engagement this is crazy this is this is good when you have an nft project where the owner is someone or the creator is someone who's like actually famous as a following the chances of this having real world value are astronomically higher than any other project because this is real world shit this is legit you know try it right now to find out if he's fully doxxed or if he just goes by this random username so it doesn't really look like he's out there doxxed kind of like brendan murphy is but that's kind of becoming the way of the game here i guess i can't really hate I would like if they were docs. I think that'd be cooler. I think it would help his brand ex exponentially more, but this would be a shout out to all NFT artists and creators. You should be posting so much of who you are, what you're about on your socials, that people should know exactly what they're getting into when they buy your project, and they should just want to be part of your project. And when you don't have a real social identity, that's a lot diff That's a lot more difficult to do. So I am impressed that he's amassed such a crazy big following without doing that, unless I missed something. So Polygons actually already has a Genesis collection already out. It's got a floor price of 2.98, 98 Ethereum trade. 55 owners 81 items this is very good for art nfts um if you guys know fidel everywhere his black and white knights is similar kind of stats to this i believe i think it might actually be like closer to three or four hundred ethereum traded but it's not like those 10k avatar projects where there's thousands and thousands of ethereum so it looks like polygons had a pretty steady uh support line around one one and a half and then took a big fat dump into the 0.3 category which is where like all the projects did so that's not really a surprise and they've bounced back surprisingly well and the the project's selling pretty well for an art project to be honest you have to remember there's only 81 items to trade between them so so it looks like some of the roadmap for polygoons is they're gonna have a 10k generative project that's come in soon it looks like they're trying to branch from art into pfp kind of like bungie did and i assume that's per jupiter project greg norman trying to say hey like this shit works let's do this this is a smart way to do this you got merch they've got a lot of things that are uh prioritizing long-term brand you guys know that's what i like 
Polygons looks pretty good. I would go way more in depth, but this is going to be like a longer video if I do. So I'm just going to kind of touch on everything that's like major and then skip to the next project. But real quick, if you're in my Discord, in my Ask Me Anything channel, I'm trying to get every single video, answer a question, NFT related or not. Today to do with IG Bullish Mario. Thank you for your question. Hey, Kay, which psychedelics have you tried? This I actually will go in very in depth on in a podcast coming up uh, next week, I believe, on the MGC podcast. And so I'll like let you guys know when that comes out. But I've done a lot of the things i've done um coke i smoked weed uh taken lsd taken mushrooms smoked dmt i think that's it so i've stuck with the psychedelics i think they're <laughs> probably way healthier than any of the other like crazy traditional drugs that you guys see on the street anyways back to this oh my god that's literally crazy psychedelics anonymous is the next project oh my, I, I literally didn't even plan it that's actually fucking insane um that stuff happens on psychedelics fam Okay, so Psychedelics Anonymous, this is a project that a lot of people have been telling me about. 86,000 followers, they're followed by a lot of people that I know, so that's a good sign. And, you know, I've seen a couple of their videos I've been putting out, it looks fucking awesome. Um, but, you know, you can make a lot of things look awesome with a couple of videos. You can pay a guy a couple hundred bucks and make a sick video. I'm a video, I'm a videographer, so I, I know this is a fact. And so, I like what they're doing though, they have a lot of lore, game, gamification, and this is exactly what you want in a long-term brand. They're not promising all this bullshit like all the projects in the summer did. Here's their website. Pretty fucking sick. I like it. I like it. Pretty simple. I like simple. So they have a little bit of lore here. I fucking like this a lot. Big fan of this. You can kind of tell when it's shit and when they actually paid like an author who can write properly. So we have Lewis Gale as the founder of, of Volterra Labs, managing director at Volterra, 10 years of experience in marketing idea and execution. Guys, these are the things that you want to see in projects. You want to see projects where there's actually people who know what they're doing. If you invest in someone because they're cool, they're nice, they're doing brand stuff well, but they have absolutely no experience, that's a risk, okay? It might work, but it's a risk. And when you go with someone a little bit safer like this, your chances of not getting fucked are much higher. They've got the creative director at Volterra Labs. He's been doing this shit for 20 years. The CEO of Moss Infrastructure Group. Look, so, so far, <laughs> they got a bunch of smart ass, like hardworking, effective, top tier people. That's that's something that you saw in Bungie Project. That's, that's something you're gonna see uh, with the Jupiter Group. And these things are much more important than I think people are, are thinking about. The team has to be fucking competent. That's really, really, really important that you get that through your head. The team actually has to be able to pull off some of these things that they wanna do. They gotta know the right people. They gotta have the funds. There's a lot of things that go into a project, guys. You're investing in startup businesses when you invest in an NFT project. Do not forget that. This is. It feels like a casino. So they're gonna support in the psychedelic assisted therapy. Fuck yeah, big fan of that, just personally. Um, they have a Genesis Mint coming up. They have some games that they wanna do and Ascension. Like they have all these ideas for lore and challenges. And here's the thing. So on my podcast TikTok account, I have a one video where I talked about psychedelics and it blew the fuck up, okay? Psychedelics is a very niche community. If they do this right, to leverage the power of the psychedelic fucking community, the they're diehards, all right? I, I, under, I know this because when you first take a psychedelics, you become a crazy person. You're like, wow, everything needs to be drugs and like, everyone needs to take drugs. And so the psychedelic community is extremely, extremely niche and strong. One week before I started making empty videos, I thought about taking my channel into the, into the psychedelic direction and just talking about psychedelics because no one was talking about it either. I think I would have done well there. I still might, I probably still will. Uh, I'm not gonna donate every, like, every ounce of my time and energy there, but psychedelics are, uh, could be a good way in. This could be good. We've got the World Wide Web 3, an interoperable pixel metaverse built on Ethereum. One thing that I'm sure you guys are aware of if you guys watch Alex Becker or Elliot Trades is that you can make a video game look really cool when it doesn't have anything. Like anyone can print out something like this and be like, we have a video game, you know? So we don't know. So I'm, a, you know, actually I need, let's check out the website. Let's see if they're even legit before I say anything like that. 30,000 followers, um, pretty active on Twitter. Oh, it looks like you can play the game right now. So this reminds me a lot of Pokemon. I like this. <laughs> Wait, I, am I just gonna play this now? Am I, is this was the rest of the videos for me playing this game? Looks like here's the part where they kind of tell you what's the gameplay, what's going on, what should you be doing next. Wait, this is kind of cool, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no way this is like a real thing already. Dude, this reminds me so much of Pokemon. What do you do? How, is there like a... Can you actually play? I don't think... Oh. You could win a whitelist spot. Oh, dude, they've got Cyber Kongs and Kaiju in here. Look at this. This is cool. They've got another dragon thing. Okay, so I can move. Which character am I? Okay, I'm this little red character right here. I'm running up. 
I'm not sure what to do here. I guess I'll just... You know, I'm not really a big video... Oh, fuck. I'm not, like, a big video game guy. I'm not... A... I never grew up with video games, but I want to get in, and I think I'm going to start either Twitch streaming or doing it here. I want to play, like, Evaverse. I want to play Colony Online when that starts happening. This would be cool to play. What do you guys think? Do you want me to stream? Okay, I really don't have time to play the whole game, but, I mean, from what I saw, that's better than 99% of gaming projects out there already, so... Whatever. Hats off to them, I guess. Holy shit, for the crypto gifts, 10 fl 10 ETH floor price. 17 items, 14 owners. Let's see if this is selling at all, if people are even interested in this. So it looks like it's not really selling. So I don't know if this is just like a dead thing or, or what happened here. So you can also buy land for the game. That's got a little bit more volume traded, 0.3 floor price. Let's see if these are selling at all. See if this is interesting to people. Okay, yeah, it's just very interesting to people. There's a lot of people buying this. This is actually really intriguing. We have a Crypto Weaves. This is a floor price of 12 right now. 244 Ethereum traded. Um, let's see if any of these are selling. Yeah. Selling like sort of like hotcakes. God damn. What the fuck? What is this project? I've never even heard of this thing. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm definitely going to take a look at this project a little bit more after this. After this. So, so far, it looks cool. We got Nano Pass. This is a project with 44,000 followers. A lot of people I know following. Got some cool shit coming. They've got an OpenSea collection already. This is dope. Like, I've seen a lot of their videos and gameplay looking stuff, and it looks interesting. I think that's the Mechaverse right there. That's cool. I like how active they are. Man, doesn't this remind you a little bit of Biopills, a little bit of uh, Bioverse ecosystem projects that I told you guys about like three and a half weeks ago before the projects were doing this, and now it looks like all the cool projects are doing this. This is just from first glance. This looks cool as fuck. Oh, you know what? I've been seeing this thing all over fucking everywhere, honestly. I'm, now I'm kind of glad that I, I got shown this project. Let's take a look. So it looks like they've got all these different options to play. The nano passes or your access keys, just like bio pills. And it looks like they're nailing that ecosystem shit that I talked about where everything kind of falls in a circle and everything kind of blends together and everything gives each other value. It's very important. If you're able to brand yourself into a game project thing and you know, people gotta want to play. If they don't want to play, then that shit doesn't matter at all. And this is also cool. This is just like Biopills again. This is a standard that Biopills fucking set. I told you guys like weeks before the Apostles Mint that you guys need to get in this project because people are going to start to follow and this is exactly what's happening, it looks like. Because this is like the fourth or fifth project I've covered that's like this. So yeah, just by holding certain NFTs, you get benefits. Like if you're playing Call of Duty, say you bought one of the Call of Duty characters and you own them. If you hold that specific character every week, you get like a new fucking whatever, a thing of like bullets or whatever. So they're not revealing too much on their roadmap. I'm a fan of that. I don't really care about that. It's it's about brand. It's about brand, guys. It's like a team here. Doesn't really talk about any experience. Um, just, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I would much rather them have experience because I, as I talked about earlier in the video, experience matters. But I mean, there are projects that have done well with fucking no experience. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell, honestly, guys. It's all speculation. We, we don't know. You're investing in stars. We have absolutely no idea. It's a gamble. Yeah, so, so far, I mean, they've got the right layout, the right outline of a cool project. Who knows if they'll pull it off? I don't know. Okay, now we got some of the DGEN stuff. This is the stuff I've never fucking heard about, and no one I really know knows about these projects either. So let's get into it. Honestly, guys, the reason I hate looking at new like pfp projects is because they're just like scrambling for words to use this point to like to work like at the point of lazy lions i started to get annoyed when lazy lions came out that was about the last project that i was like okay that's fine but you know what maybe they're a cool project let's see if they're at least active in the community so it looks like they are they aren't being as personable and fun and entertaining as i would hope them to be and they're not really getting any engagement so let's check out their open sea so at a floor price of 0 0.01 1.2 thousand ethereum trade that's a lot um 3.9 thousand owners 10 thousand items but they're selling man i mean looks like people are kind of gobbling up the dip uh so that might be a good sign looks like from their launch they kind of hovered around the 0 0.1 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 and yeah, I mean, they got all the way up to point two at one point, so a random pump, and then they kind of just tumbled down since then, so. And all these lower lows isn't really a great sign from any project, but, you know, you never know. These new projects, you know, anything can happen. So here's the website. It's pretty cool. So, I mean, I like it. Uh, the, the issue I have with penguins is that they're a seasonal creature, sort of, as far as, like, if a project's going to get hyped up, like penguins, it's not going to be in the summer or the spring or the fall. It's only going to be in the winter, so that gives me... Pumpkin heads vibes where it's like as soon as Halloween season's over, it kind of just takes an L and it looks like, you know, they've had lower lows. Who knows? So the roadmap is pretty standard. Um, nothing really to report there. So I just glanced over all four of the team. Doesn't look like any of them have any experience. Um, their Twitter game needs a lot of fucking work. They're not really doing anything there. Um, and so, yeah, they just need to pick up more brand work, more personal branding. All right, guys, this is the final project. Astro Zoo 
568 followers on Twitter. They're pretty active on Twitter. They don't have much engagement, so it tells me they probably don't have much demand or hype, but it looks like they're a play to earn project and in any gaming project, you need users. So we've got a whitelist minting available in six days. So you can probably still get on the whitelist for that, I assume. So they want to do staking and battling for a part of their game. And look, this this is all great. It just, it just depends how much work they're putting in brand wise and how much they can actually do in a short period of time. Some projects are going to take two to five years to actually get a game that works. And are they prepared to do that? Are there supporters? Do they even give a shit for that? And that's hard, dude. Like, that's hard. You're going to see all these supporters, these empty projects. When the markets turn red, these supporters are not going to give a fuck about some of these projects, dude. Uh, even, even the ones that people are diehard for. You're going to be surprised. And the rest of the game, they're just working on typical brand stuff. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's good so far. It's just, it really just depends if they can pull it off. And it's all speculation. And that's the problem with these new projects. You're guessing. You're just hoping that they do. So here's their team. It's just three cards names. So yeah, you don't know anything. That's, I'm not really a big fan of that. If you have an anonymous team, it's really hard to brand yourself as people, as founders, as full-time brand you know it's just it's just not going to work long term in my opinion i think doxing at some point at least semi-doxing pseudo pseudo anonymous is pretty much a must at this point guys i'm fucking exhausted that took way longer than i thought but i kind of got excited for some of these like projects earlier in the video and so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys got some of your fix for a little bit of Dijon stuff um i don't do many of these new projects uh but anyways i appreciate you making this video the code word is somewhere in this room and uh i'll be looking for it in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button for me so I know. It only takes one second. All this content out there is for free. And I appreciate every single one of you guys subscribing. We just hit 2,000 subscribers. Such a big feat. So excited to hit 10,000. Um, and yeah, until next time, continue on your joyage. Continue to learn. And be grateful you're alive watching this video.